Inflammatory bowel disease is an umbrella term in a sense that encompasses two different conditions. One is Crohn's disease and one is ulcerative colitis. The way that an individual presents with ulcerative colitis would be typical symptoms are increased bowel movements, so running to the bathroom more than you normally would, looser, so there are more diarrhea-like stools, uh, as well as rectal bleeding, which means there's blood in your stool. Crohn's disease, by definition, could actually occur anywhere from the mouth to the anus. The most common place that it manifests itself in the body is, is both the small and the large intestine. Crohn's disease could have deep, almost like tracks, train tracks of ulcers, deep ulcers that are very painful and Crohn's patients tend to have more abdominal pain and weight loss. They can have a stool frequency change, but it's not always that. It's really pain, weight loss, uh, fatigue, anemia, uh, could present with bowel blockages because of the scar tissue. I mean, the, the totality of even what we're talking about, I hope relays the importance of advancement in the field, bringing new therapies, the importance of continuing to fight for our patients, and letting them know that it doesn't have to be like this.